This is Sig. Good to see you all again. This is my beautiful wife, Yolanda. We okay. have been married for four years. It's four years on June 22nd. I am 31 years old. And I look like I'm 17. Technically 30. Been on this earth for 30 years. So, our love story, um, I pursued Yoli, she'll probably call it stalking, but I pursued Yoli. Uh, I pursued her back in 2011, we actually met at church, and I remember when I first saw her, I actually saw her at a conference, and then a few months later, I, I couldn't even believe it, that uh, I actually saw her at the altar. You know what I mean? Like, she was right in front of me. I was like, oh, snap. I met my wife at the altar. Ain't that something? And... You didn't say that. Well, it was in my mind. It was in my mind. I said that. So, from there, we talked and talked and talked. And I know she found it strange that I was pursuing her like that. And I, and I do remember telling, actually, who he was became one of my groomsmen one time when she came by the church. I was like, yo, man, I think I met my wife. So that's that's my side of the love story. How about you? You stalked me. You stalked me. Plus, he had a nice job. That's a love story, folks. <laughs> anywho, anywho, moving on. You're not going to tell them how you fell in love with me? <laughs> love in first sight. Yeah, there were <laughs> butterflies and unicorns everywhere. And I was floating on air. I grew wings. And I had pink glitter all over. Greatest, <laughs> and that probably would, would help lead into the uh, greatest and hardest thing about marriage. I'd say one of the greatest things is uh, having humor and uh, and out just come out and say it, you know. You need humor. You need humor. And you, then I'll say it, you gotta have sex. Great thing. That's the greatest thing about marriage. That's one of the greatest things about marriage. What's the hardest thing then? When you're not having sex. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I would definitely say uh, I would say probably one of the the greatest challenges is when you when you have to humble yourself. And I can tell you a dime a dozen, well, quite a few times where I've actually had to humble myself and realize that whatever I was taking too serious wasn't that serious and I would say also when to speak up also because sometimes you're not sure when to speak up or how to say something so I would say one of the big another big challenge was like knowing when to speak or even better yet how to say it without you know coming across as like you're intentionally trying to hurt their feet you know and, hurt and don't be offended so easily yeah. it's not yeah pick your battles find out what's really that important if yeah. they leave the cabinet door open it's not that serious yeah if they drop socks in the middle of the floor just say hey can you pick that up yeah. for me you know just, yeah it's it's just not that serious don't find mm -hmm. little things to get mad about and then you're ready to find the papers and serve up papers no just don't take it seriously and learn to laugh at, you know, after you resolve your issues. But mm -hmm. not everything is worthy of a big, long discussion. Y'all yeah, saw how Yoli tried to sneak in how I leave the socks, right? But I didn't say anything did about her socks. I did you. Y'all noticed that, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody she didn't mention said your name. Me. She didn't mention me, though. You heard that in your head. That must be, I heard that that must be a confession. Confession. Anyway, confession. so don't take anything so seriously example right there and just learn how to you know you laugh at it find out what's really important if it's not that important if you can forget about it then forget about it if it really bothers you and it 
disturb your sleep and everything, then just talk about it. But not everything's worthy of a long, deep discussion. Maybe sometimes you need to just talk to other married women who like being married and it give you more of a voice of reason. Say, you know, it's really, it doesn't seem that bad. Why are you upset about it? You know, et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell we have fun, right? All right. Um, now, what did we wish we learned while we were single? Yeah. I wish I learned that people fight or people disagree and argue. It's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And it's normal. Exactly. You know, I'm not going to like everything he does. And vice versa. So, if we you disagree, know. we disagree. Exactly. Sometimes you agree to disagree, and sometimes you just have disagreements, and mm -hmm. you still got to resolve it. But it's not, you're not, you're not a bad couple, or you're not meant to be married because you had exactly. disagreements. Exactly. Like, it's not that serious. No, like, no, and overall, marriage is not that serious. It's two, it's, it's two people becoming one flesh. I mean, heck, even the perfect, Apostle Paul perfect, so came out and said that this yeah. is a mystery, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, in that process of the two becoming one, you're going to see that constant, you're going to see that constant battle for that one, both parties dying to self to fulfill that God-ordained purpose, which is to reflect mm -hmm. Christ in the church on the earth. So, I know... I would definitely say for me is um, just having a better temperament into the marriage. You see, and 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 like that's a constant process, being always being patient. But uh, I I believe maybe a little bit more understanding in that patience probably would have it probably would have eliminated some of the disagreements that we had to where I say no, nah, I ain't that serious. So just Fully agree with my wife, like, certain things are not serious. No need to try to escalate, get into your flesh over. So mm -hmm. so now with the question of uh, advice and encouragement, I would say encouragement, stay the course. Advice, get wisdom. Um, I say encouragement because I truly believe now that the enemy, before you're married, the enemy wants to do everything in his power. If you're courting someone, if you're in a relationship, and even if you're single, because let's not throw away the fact that you have people who are struggling with pornography, masturbation, sexual sins, things like that. So the enemy is going to do everything in his power before you're married to distort that what that sexual intimacy is. And then amazingly enough, when you do get married, the enemy is going to do everything in his power to try to dis distort the sexual intimacy in your marriage. So it's a, it's a const it's a constant battle. So th that advice of getting wisdom is just as important because you would want to have that spouse that understands the battle and that will go right in there with you, you know, that that's right there with you. And, 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 and from an encouragement perspective, that's not going to lead you astray into that path of sexual sin. Get some accountability. Stay amongst the saints, you know, things that. Things like that, you know. Don't, don't lose, don't lose heart. You know, if what you're hoping for doesn't come to pass in the time you want, and it's always in God's time because His timing is greater than ours. You know. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Don't let them taste the ice cream before it's been properly churned. That's important as well. If it hasn't been properly churned or, or however you make ice cream, they don't get to touch it. Don't let them touch the gold before it's gone through the fire. What she said, yeah, what she said, yeah. You don't <laughs> think you should know what I'm talking about. Right, right, yeah, yeah, you know. In other words, he should not see your bedroom, you should not see his bedroom. You keep it, I mean, not even in the living room. You, yeah, because you, you try yeah. really hard for those who are in a relationship. Yeah, to and avoid having sex early. Exactly. I try to put it rated PG, but yeah, just don't have sex. The second you do that, if it, you notice know relationships, the process. Yeah. majority of the relationships, some mm -hmm. get lucky and 
finish strong, but yeah. not all of them. It's not a guarantee. Yeah. If you notice, if you do it too early, it's not a guarantee you'll be together very yeah. long after. There's always some issues, insecurities, frustrations, stress. It's not worth doing that too early. So, yeah. in other words, keep it in your pants and skirts. Yeah. Don't you know? Don't don't, don't try to put your finger as close to the fire and see how you know how far you can go. You're just going to get burned. It's not going to be a sensation at all. It's just going to get burned. And for for fellas, like it's 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 very important on your end because you know I I believe this generation needs to see that men are willing to protect. Mm -hmm. You know, to be open and transparent. You know, so. So it's one of those where it's like, even if, you know what, you're setting yourself apart for God and you're going in that purpose. And in some cases, that temptation may rise up and like you have to stand your ground. You have to realize I need to protect this woman I'm courting until either I say I do or I realize that this isn't going to work or this is not. We may have to end this process. So, fellas, please stay that course. Believe me, there's a great reward. A great reward if you stay the course. A great reward. And then uh, I would say you can implement two things, like being around other married people mm-hmm. who want to be, who like to be married and mm-hmm. stay married. Mm-hmm. And read, watch videos, you know. Watch some teaching Research, find, find some material to read to prepare you. Because if you do this for a job in college, do it for marriage too. Because yeah. really, it's not the same thing, but you're going into something that's long term. Exactly. So at least get your knowledge on how to be married. Because yeah. this before is a life Because yeah. usually people get married and they don't realize what marriage really is. And then mm-hmm. they go through a shock. They don't like the shock and they end up leaving. And stuff goes downhill from there because they didn't properly prepare for marriage. They're just ready to to jump in because they feel. They feel. But Mm -hmm. teacher once taught me we don't walk according to the way we feel. We walk according to kingdom principles and the word of God. He's like, if if y'all, y'all probably pretty much know who who that person is. So, Mm -hmm. uh, if you're in the the singles walking in purpose ministry, y'all know who that is. But, um, Additional advice, I mean, stay, you know, stay in that accountability group, you know, stay in that accountability group. I said, I said it in the previous question, be transparent, you know, the saints don't have a heaven or hell to put anyone in. Christ has got that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Romans 8 says there's therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So if you've stumbled, if you, you know, taken a step back because you know, you have stumbled in the past. Repent. The saint, I believe God forgives, so the saints will forgive. But you take those necessary steps so you don't sin again. And just continue to grow in the love of God. That's that's more important than anything. You know, I, I just want to add that you're saying you love someone. You know, you got to put in the work. You know, there's an emotion with that. With, with that term but there's also work that comes with it you know so as we you know we always had the cliches you put in what you you, what, you put out what you put in you know? yeah. yeah so so even for now if you're single put that investment in you know put that investment in. this is why you're single walking with purpose everything you're doing has that purpose and you can the hundredfold. My wife just gave me a look saying that I need to go because I can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Because I love my purpose. I love my purpose. And I love you. We love y'all. Well, hopefully we'll see y'all down the road. Mm-hmm. Y'all be encouraged. And we'll see you soon.